And I'm Mr. Tickle. This is a story about the day the Mr. Men and Little Misses went on an exciting bus trip. You might say it was a hunting trip, an alphabet hunting trip, because we were searching for something beginning with a, something beginning with b, and with k. We were looking for something for every letter in the alphabet, and every time we found one, I wrote the word in my alphabet book. Where's my book? Thank you. And I wrote it all down in my alphabet book. We drove through Misterland, through towns and villages, and along country lanes. We drove past farmlands and woodlands, over hills and through valleys, and we visited some very interesting places. Oh! Stop the bus, Mr. Clever. A is the first letter in the alphabet, and there's something beginning with A. Apple. Look, there are lots of apples in those trees and on the ground. And someone else saw those apples as well. An ant. She was taking an apple home to make apple sauce or apple pie or whatever it is that ants fancy for tea. A is for ant, and a is for apple. A is for ant. A is for apple. Very good. I'll write a for apple in my book. The next letter in the alphabet is b. B is for bounce, like Mr. Bounce. B is for bounce, and b is for ball. B is for bounce, and b. Is for ball. Ooh, gosh, just look at that cake shop window. Oh, what a wonderful, delicious, absolutely scrumptious looking currant cake. Yum, yum, yum. Can we stop, Mr. Clever? I'll, I'll only be a few seconds. Mr. Greedy was as good as his word. In a matter of seconds, all that was left of that wonderful, delicious, absolutely scrumptious-looking currant cake were a few crumbs. K is for currants, and K is for cake. K is for currants. K 
is for cake. Oh, look! It's Little Miss Splendid with her dog. Little Miss Splendid's dog has brown dots. And her hat has red dots. D is for dog. D is for dots. D is for dog. D is for dots. Now her dog has no dots. On we went. We met Mr. Strong. He was carrying a basket full of eggs. Eggs? Eggs start with E, our next letter. But what are you going to do with so many eggs, Mr. Strong? I'm going to eat eggs for breakfast. Boiled eggs, fried eggs, poached eggs, and scrambled eggs. And after Mr. Strong eats his huge breakfast, his basket will be empty. E is for eggs. E is for empty. E is for eggs. E is for empty. Now, let's see. Something beginning with Oh, I've got it. Mm, fish. Ah, oh, uh, but uh, we won't find any out here. Unless they're flying fish. <sighs> is for fish. <sighs> is for flying. <sighs> is for fish. <sighs> is for flying. Look at that. We found the first six letters of the alphabet. Let's say them together. Ready? A B K D E F Apple Ball Cake Dog Egg Fish I bet you can't name four animals that belong to the cat family. Oh yes I can. There's a mummy cat, a daddy cat, and uh, two kittens. There's a word for g grass, and it's green. G is for grass. G is for green. G is for grass. G is for green. Is everyone happy back there? Oh, and I'm funny. <laughs> and I'm trouble. I'm happy because I've just thought of a brilliant word beginning with her. My own name, Happy. <laughs> That's too easy, Mr. Happy. I doubt very much if you can find another her word. Oh, hmm. How about hat? Your beautiful new hat. is for happy. H is for hat. H is for happy. H is for hat. Why have we stopped, Mr. Clever? I can't add any more words to my book. There's something wrong with my pen. I wonder if I've run out of ink. Try shaking it. Oh, 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 sorry, Mr. Nonsense, but, but aren't you clever? It's working again. Yes, that's our next letter, Mr. Clever. E for uh, ink. <laughs> e 
is for ink. A is for ink. Now, we must find something beginning with J. There we are. Look at those sheep. They're jumping. J is for jumping. And the sheep's wool makes warm woolly jumpers. J is for jumping. J is for jumper. J is for jumping. J is for jumper. Here we are at the zoo. Everybody watch for... What's our next letter? K. Uh, now, that is most extraordinary. Yes, upon my word, that is a kangaroo flying a kite. Uh, what do you think, uh, Mr. Nonsense? Well, I think it, uh, it would be more extraordinary if, uh, if a kite were uh, flying a kangaroo. Uh, well, that's nonsense. <laughs> it certainly is. <laughs> K is for kangaroo. K is for kite. K is for kangaroo. K is for kite. That makes five more letters we've learned. Let's say them together. Ready? G H I J K Grass Hat Ink Jumper Kite Oh, oh, what, what is big? And hairy, and has six legs, and red eyes, and great big sharp teeth. I don't know. What is big and hairy? It has six legs, red eyes, and big sharp teeth. Oh, oh, I don't know either. Oh, but it's standing right behind you. Oh. Hey, everyone. I found something wonderful beginning with our next letter. Ooh. He's the king of the jungle, a lion! L is for lion. L is for lion. And, and I have two brilliant words beginning with M, but, but you must promise not to laugh. <laughs> promise? <laughs> well, here they are. <laughs> M is for Mr. Mischief. M is for monkey. The <laughs> trouble is, I can't tell which one's the monkey. <laughs> M is for mischief. M is for monkey. M is for mischief. M is for monkey. Well, that wasn't uh, too difficult. Now, to find something beginning with... Mm, Mr. Nonsense was thinking something when suddenly with Mr. Mm. Nosy appeared. Something beginning with... Mm. Oh, uh, here it is. Right in front of your eyes. Your nose. N is for nose. N is for nonsense. N is for nose. N is for nonsense. Then, everyone followed me to the aquarium. That was a good place to find something beginning with O. Oh. And indeed, we did find something beginning with O. Oh. A bright orange-coloured octopus with eight long arms. <laughs> Lucky old octopus. He can tickle eight people at the same time. Oh. <laughs> o is for orange. O is for octopus. O is for orange. 
op is voor octopus. Our next letter was making himself incredibly messy. You're right, it was a big pink pig. And who was that with him? You're right again, it was Mr. Messy. P is for pig. P is for pink. P is for pig. P is for pink. There, five more letters. I think we're doing quite well, don't you? Let's say them together. Are you ready? L, M, N, O, P. Lion. Monkey, nose, octopus, pig. Would you like to uh, join me in a bowl of soup? Join you in a bowl of soup? Do you think it's big enough for both of us? Our next stop was a tall castle, and in the castle, a big surprise. We were going to see a queen. However, there were so many other people who also wanted to see a queen, we had to join a queue. When our turn came, we had a nice little chat with the queen. Mr. Quiet was so excited, he fainted. <coughs> Quietly. is for queen, k is for q, k is for queen, k is for q. Wow, oh, look what I found for our next letter. It's a bird. It's a raven. And down below, in the courtyard, it's a rabbit. R is for raven. R is for rabbit. R is for raven. R is for rabbit. Meanwhile, of all the hundreds and hundreds of rooms in the great castle, Mr. Greedy discovered his favorite room. Oh, the kitchen! Look at all that lovely food. Mr. Greedy didn't know where to start. But first, more words for my alphabet book. Oh, start writing, Mr. Clever. Oh, there's s for sausage. Oh, s for spaghetti. And s for spinach. S is for sausage. Is for spaghetti. S is for spinach. S is for sausage. S is for spaghetti. S is for spinach. Oh, I don't like spinach. Mr. Fussy, don't you want to be big and strong like Mr. Strong? No, I'd rather be small and wobbly like Mr. Jelly. <laughs> <laughs> Did someone call me? Oh, wait a minute, while I try to stop wobbling. Oh, there, that's better. Now, I shall find some words beginning with T. There's T for teapot, T for table, and T for Mr. Greedy's tummy. <laughs> T is for teapot, T is for table. is for tummy. It was time to go. 
As we walked back to the bus, we felt a drop of rain. Then another one, and another. We all rushed for shelter under Mr. Tall's umbrella. A uh, is for umbrella. A uh, is for umbrella. I never thought learning the alphabet could be such fun. We've just seen five more letters. Let's say them together. Ready? Qua. R. S. T. A. Queen. Raven. Sausage. Teapot. Umbrella. We looked up, we looked down, we looked left, we looked right. But we couldn't find anything beginning with V. I asked little Miss Magic if she could help. Something beginning with V? Easy. How about a vase or a violin? V is for vase, V is for violin. V is for vase, V is for violin. I wish it would stop raining. And, as if by magic, which of course it was, the rain stopped, thanks to the wizard. W for wizard and also for worm a worm trying to have his afternoon nap so please keep your voices down of course we're on our way mr worm two more words for my book i'll write them down w for wizard w for worm W for wizard. W for worm. I, I say, Mr. Clever, uh, finding the next letter could be awfully difficult. Uh, there aren't many words beginning with an X. How about a word with X in the middle? Like that sign pointing to the exit. X is in exit. X, as in exit. X, as in exit. Look at all those pretty yellow sails, Mr. Uppity. What do you call a boat like that? Uh, it's called a yacht, Mr. Happy. And, and the word yacht begins with a year. Our next letter. Year is for yacht. Year is for yellow. Year is for yacht. Year is for yellow. Now, we need only one more letter and we've done the whole alphabet. There's our last letter, Mr. Happy. Z is for zoo. Z is for zoo. Uh, excuse me, uh, Mr. Clever, but uh, can I add another word with a z? Uh, how about um, z as in lazy? As in Mr. Lazy. Uh, but where is Mr. Lazy? That was a good question. We all turned to look for Mr. Lazy. 
Oh dear, I hope he hasn't been left behind. Would you all please look everywhere in the bus for Mr. Lazy? Z is in lazy. That's another Z for my book. Z is in lazy. Z is in lazy. I hope you've enjoyed this bus trip with the Mr. Men and Little Misses, and we've helped you learn your a b c u s Now, let's hear you say the last five letters in the alphabet. Ready? V, w, x, y, z, vase. Worm. Exit. Yacht. Zoo. Well done, all you Mr. Men and Little Misses. That's the end of the great alphabet hunt. We found something for every letter in the alphabet. Hooray! Apple, ball, cake, dog, egg, fish, grass, happy, ink, jump, kite. Lion, monkey, nose, octopus, pig, queen, rabbit, sausage, table, umbrella, vase. Wizard. Exit. Yacht. Zoo. Oh, oh, oh! Sorry, Mr. Nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> There's lots of fun in a Mr. Silly way. They learn to sing and they learn to say the letters through and through. Now see if you can do a for apple and b for bouncing ball. There was c u p for cake. Not you. D for daydream and F for eggs you eat. Now there's f for fussy and fish and fun and g for grumpy and grass and grand and green. And there's h for helpful and that's what we should be.